friends, it's Cecilia. I've done videos before on the top 10 ugliest LPS. Then I did the top 10 scariest LPS. Now it's time for the flip side, the top 10 cutest LPS ever. I'm actually gonna be showing a lot more than 10 because there are just so many cute LPS. And a lot of these are really underrated. Most of them are not cats or dogs. And a lot of them I wasn't even aware of until making this video. For the sake of time, I'm only gonna be focusing on generation two, but I might also make another video on some of the newer LPS, which I think are really cute. Let me know what you think. But anyway, it's time for things to get adorable. Number 10, LPS Chicks. This chick has been in the LPS community longer than all of us. With its first appearance as LPS number 13, the chick was a common sight during the early days of Generation 2 before disappearing for years and re-emerging about 800 LPS later. I'm not really a big fan of these later LPS because they all just seem to rehash the same idea, but on the flip side, the original LPS chicks are just it. I like the blue and pink ones a lot for their subtle airbrush colors, which is something I find particularly nostalgic about early LPS. On top of that, the mold itself is really adorable with its big eyes and its flappy little wings. And because it's a smaller mold, it also looks really cute next to other LPS. I also have to include this one on the list because just, just look at her. She has her own little bun and is so cute. LPS chicks are pretty underrated and hardly ever used in videos, but they have a special charm to me and I think they are very cute. Number 9, LPS octopuses. Octopuses? Octopi? Apparently they're both right. Anyway, while a real octopus is absolutely terrifying, the LPS version takes all the terror away in favor of a little bobblehead that smiles. Seriously though, the LPS octopus is quite possibly the happiest pet on earth. They're all so smiley and I love that Hasbro decided to give them little bows too. Though it was probably necessary because this is what they look like without it. Oh, and before we go on, I unfortunately have to ruin your childhood. They actually look more like jellyfish. Number eight, the Snowy Day playset. Snowy Day was a scenery playset which included LPS 1028 through 30, as well as a ton of cute winter themed accessories. What I love about the pets in this set isn't necessarily the designs themselves, but the accessories they came with. The fox comes with an adorable little hat. The monkey comes with a full color coordinated outfit. I need that scarf by the way. And the seal is just, I have no words to describe how freaking adorable this guy is with his little hat, oh my goodness. Overall, these pets and their adorable outfits give off super wholesome vibes and they just make me smile whenever I look at them. Oh, and before we move on, shout out to LPS seals in general, especially 555 and 616. Oh my gosh, they're freckles. Number seven, LPS raccoons. As I was compiling this list, I included raccoons 1348 and 1682. Then I realized that all the LPS raccoons are really cute. I know I've talked crap about how weird the pose is on this mold. Why is he touching? his foot. It's not even a behavior. Why Hasbro? Why? But it isn't really an ugly pose and I mean it honestly adds a level of playfulness which is part of why I think they're really cute. Some of my other favorite raccoons include 543, 1651, 1957, and 1989. Overall the raccoons are a solid mold with some really cute designs and I love to see people use them more often in videos. Number six, Vacation Pet Collection. The Vacation Pet Collection was a Toys R Us exclusive set including LPS 2207 through 19. This set is huge and would have been an amazing addition to anyone's collection back in the day. You might recognize this set for the collie it comes with and while this is by far the most coveted, I think all the pets in this set are really cute and deserve some love. My favorite is this Beagle who has really pretty colors and a nice attention to detail on her arms. I have a penchant for Beagles in general since they work really well as sweet and kind-hearted kids characters. I also love the pigeon, kitten, and cow for their more muted, or should I say mooted, color palettes that make them extremely versatile for videos. There are also more colorful pets in the mix that benefit from having nice color choices, as well as a tasteful amount of glitter. Speaking of glitter, number five goes to the glitter pets. Of all the gimmicks Hasbro has tried with Lilith's Pet Shop, my favorite has to be Glitter LPS. When you hear Glitter LPS, you might be thinking about this cat, but there are so many more that are pretty underrated. Some of my favorites include this seal, panda, elephant, Lhasa Apso, and butterfly. I don't know about you guys, but the glitter on the wings is really satisfying to me. What I appreciate most about these pets is that Hasbro didn't 
overdo it on the glitter and the attention to details make them look really high quality. Compare these to the more recent glitter LPS we've received. What is this on my hand? This is glitter. We've got glitter on our hands. We've got glitter all over the pet. Hasbro, I, I believed in you. There's glitter on his butt. There's glitter on his butt. The glitter pets are also really cool because they introduced some new molds, including this adorable caterpillar and the Himalayan cat. She looks so happy and it makes me happy. Number four, select Blythe pets. If you've been in the LPS community long enough, Oh my god, you might recognize Blythe as the catalyst for the demise of Generation 2. Even when Blythe Loves Littlest Pet Shop came out around 2011, I remember so much rage and fury among the LPS community because seriously, why does this random chick need to make LPS her pets when they're supposed to be our pets? Okay, enough of my childhood baggage. As notorious as the early Blythe sets were, I have to admit that there were some pretty amazing LPS to come out of it. I love the design on this deer that came out during the first wave of Blythe sets and I would die to have her hat in my collection. Some others I think are really cute are this bunny and this ladybug. The painted details on their faces are a really nice touch. And also I wasn't going to include this guy but just look at him. He comes with shoes! I'm also pretty fond of the Hawaiian tropical teal set that came later on. I love the fish it comes with. There's some really nice accessories and even Blythe's outfit looks cute. The hibiscus pattern screams coconut girl and I am living for it. But I think the most iconic LPS to come out of the Blythe line is the Cocker Spaniel from the Sleep Sweet playset. This is my dream LPS. Her colors are so perfect and I can easily see her playing like a posh and smart Ivy League character. I know that's really specific, but oh. She's just perfect. Unfortunately, many of the Blythe LPS are extremely expensive nowadays, which I suspect is because the Blythe sets weren't really popular to begin with, and also the sets themselves were a bit pricey back in the day, so it wasn't really worth it for those of us who just wanted the pet. I might not have too many Blythe LPS for now, but one day I'll get my hands on that Cocker Spaniel. One day. Number three, the pastel singles lines. Hasbro came out with tons of LPS singles over the course of Generation 2, and there are a few that invoke a lot of nostalgia in me. <clears throat> However, there are two particular lines of singles that stand out to me as the cutest, and these are from LPS 1031 through 60 and 1786 through 93. I know it's a lot of number talk, but these pets are seriously adorable. The singles from the 1000 range focus mainly on pastel colors, and I think all these pets were really well designed. My favorites from this line are the ostrich, bunny, and Persian cats, but the colors on all these singles are really pleasant on the eyes, and they make great characters for like an aesthetic LPS series. Later on, when Littlest Pet Shop reached the 1700s, Hasbro graced us with another small line of pastel singles. I am obsessed with the Pigeon, Husky, and Lovebug. I especially commend Hasbro for that one because Lovebugs in real life are... <laughs> Number 2, the Patriplets. How can I make a video about cute LPS without including the Patriplets? They came to the scene around 2010 and I remember them vividly. We were blessed with four waves of Patriplets over the course of Generation 2. The first were a set of bunnies, puppies, kittens, and later hamsters which coincided with the release of the sticker eye pets. The second wave of Patriplets is probably my favorite. Between the pigs, monkeys, bears, and butterflies, okay these guys are a little derpy but they're still cute, Hasbro really nailed it on the head with making every single one of these pets adorable. The third and fourth wave continue to expand with more species and new molds and okay this guy is looking kind of strange but overall you can really tell Hasbro was giving their all with these sets. I actually have a funny story regarding one of the baby horses. When I was like 12 I saw her listed on eBay and I was like oh, a super rare LPS so I bought it and then a week later I saw the Petriplet set in stores and I felt like a dummy. I wish we would have gotten some more pets using the existing Petriplet molds especially since having more kittens or puppies with different fur patterns would have made them really versatile for play and making videos, but the single pet for each mold does make them more unique, and I'm just glad that Hasbro made a clear effort to expand the LPS line, and it paid off very well in cuteness. And now, before we reach the number one spot for the cutest LPS in the world ever, it's time for us to acknowledge the pets that didn't make the cut. Here is an extended list of honorable mentions, in comic relief. Every rabbit in this mold! Swan 1391, probably the best LPS to play a grandma. Ladybug 2308. Schnauzer 1795, he looks like he has a bumper sticker that says proud parent of an honor roll student. Seal 1732, he is planning devilish acts. Guinea Pig 2062, w wait is that cottage cheese? Corgi 1533, 
gone. She's scared because she just clogged your friend's toilet. Corgi 3567. Sorry, she's cute, but she looks like a school secretary. Poodle 1956. Don't cross her. And the penguin from the walkable slide and dive lagoon. All right, drum roll, please. It is time for us to reveal the number one cutest LPS in Lilith's Pet Shop history. The number one cutest LPS goes to me. Just kidding. It's the LPS babies. The LPS babies are some of the most underrated and adorable pets of all time. They were first introduced with the cutest pet sign, which came out toward the end of generation two. As the name suggests, these are genuinely some of the cutest pets Hasbro has ever come out with. Just look at the baby penguin and his little blush and the swan. Oh my gosh. Later on, we were blessed with an entire singles line of baby pets, which came with the cutest accessories I've ever seen. I'm talking bibs, rattles, corn, and a juice box for little babies. I would die for the baby bear. Look at him! Oh, if only he wasn't $80 on eBay. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the baby LPS are ridiculously expensive now. I wonder if people weren't buying them because they weren't full-size LPS, so they're just less available. I'd really love to have some of these, but for now, I'll keep on dreaming. Anyway, moving on, the baby pets don't stop here. Oh no. We were also blessed with entire play sets, including Sunny Stroll with babies, including the cutest lamb in history, and nap time with babies that has this guinea pig and the chick. I don't know about you guys, but I have a huge huge soft spot for cute and wholesome things and the baby LPS do a really great job at that. This is probably really suitable to end the video with two because the later mommy and baby sets were the last LPS to be produced in the G2 style. And in spite of all the rage, sadness, and confusion of why Hasbro would move on to making these abominations, at least we were left with these babies. Thank you so much for watching this. Be sure to comment below what you think is the cutest LPS ever. Was it one of the pets on this list or one I didn't mention? Oh, I'm going to leave now and I hope you have an awesome Saturday, Friday, Wednesday, whatever day you're watching this. Have a happy summer or winter or whatever season you're watching this. And although I'm not showing my mascot in person, we still have to end this video off in CCR television style. So I present to you a very manly fist punching my logo off the screen. Bye guys. <laughs>